everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. So as promised, I'm pretty sure it was Angie who asked me, but if it wasn't, whoever asked me, I'm going to show how I decorate my candles. It's also going to be item 29 off my 100 Things Challenge. Um, there's loads of videos um, showing how you can decorate candles. I mean, you can... I've melted flowers onto them before, but this time I'm going to show you how to do it with napkins. Um, I mean, this one is one that Angie, not Angie, all these A's, Ali Cousins stamped on. It was in the Flourish, Flourish swatch she gave me. So she stamped onto tissue paper, which you can do. Um, so like when you do, I hope I'm explaining that okay you need the thinnest layer so I've got a napkin here and this is the very top layer so it's as thin as it will go um, I will show you this one as well but yeah so you need the very top layer of the napkin most napkins have about three layers they are a pain to peel apart because I've just spent the last sort of five minutes trying to peel that one apart so I didn't have to do it on camera also um, when you have your tissue you don't want too much white so you want to tear away as much as the of the white as possible you also need some grease proof paper which will make sense in a bit so i'm just tearing um some of the tissue away because obviously i don't want too much on this yeah, so you can do it with um, stamping. If you're going to stamp onto tissue paper, I would use um, a fast drying ink. And I normally use, if I can find it. No, that's my embossing one. So I normally use the Memento, that's for long lasting impressions, impressions, fade resistant dye ink and that seems to work very well so the ones that you normally would use when you color in with your alcohol pens so you need to get your tissue on there as tight as you can possibly get so you don't want any creases so as flat as you can possibly get it and then it's not so simple <laughs> and then get your Grease proof paper over the top, doesn't matter what side, but you want to make sure there are no crinkles. I mean, I've got a little bit there, but I'm not going to worry too much. So, yeah, get it as tight as you can. Now, I'm, yeah, I've still got some crinkles. So, so yeah. Try, sorry, the sound is annoying. Yeah, so get it as flat as you can and then get your heat gun. Let it warm up a bit. Do not do what I do and put your hand in front of it to see if it's warmed up enough. Um, and then you sort of, if I can, put it over there and you'll see um, ow, the colour change. Yeah, so as soon as you see the colour become brighter or change, move on to the next bit because you don't want to over melt your candle, which I have done before. But you can quite easily rub it away. I've added ribbons before to it. I hope you can hear me over the heat gun. So, um, Let me just turn that off. If it hasn't, and then I just give it a little rub, just to make sure. If any bits haven't gone right, then just put the... So if something hadn't gone right, you just put your tissue paper... Um, not tissue paper. Grease paper back round, and then just warm that bit. So there we have one decorated candle. So I will do the other one. Um... When I've done, um, you know, those paper flowers that you often get with, um, like, the petaloo and stuff. I mean, that one I did over warm a little bit. 
there's some edges that um, just need a bit of smoothing out so while it's still warm if there's any bits you don't like just slowly rub away um, if you wanted to do say the back with this I'm going to leave this one like this because I really like it um, then you would just put the tissue paper on that bit I'd say do it in bits if you do a big one um, you know if you go all the way around see there I can still feel the tissue paper and oh yeah there so that was quite a good thing so I've, I haven't gone far enough down there so I'm going to recover it see it's meant to happen so like I said if you do feel the tissue paper still just get your grease proof paper over the top again I've put a hole in my <laughs> in mine so I'm finding it hard to hold yeah so that area there hasn't gone fully so I'm just going to go back over it and there was a bit here that hadn't gone so yeah just go back over any bits that you're not happy with yeah that's better I can't feel the tissue paper now I can still feel it a little bit there, but it's not that bad. Yeah, I can still feel it down there, so I'm just going to put it over again. And, so having the grease, grease proof paper, it just protects the candle a bit more, because if you did it without, you'd end up with an enormous... Yeah, that's almost there. I'm going to just have to do it a bit more but I need to find a bit of tissue um, grease proof paper that I can hold a bit easier I don't really fancy toasting toasting my fingers on camera yeah so this area here just hasn't quite melted in enough yeah so keep moving the heat gun don't keep it in one spot otherwise it will just melt yeah that's it so then i've just rubbed my finger over so yeah one candle nicely decorated um i know the back's plain but um you could all add to it um oh what i was saying was when i've done the like the mulberry flowers i've just got the put them on there and then held them on and they've melted in I have got a few so if I ever get any more candles because I really want to do this blue and white napkin then I will show that somewhere but at the moment these are the only two candles I've got these came from home bargains they were 2 99 for two um, I've used Morrison's ones I've done ones with the range so you can do any size candle any color um, so yeah I hope that makes sense I will just do the bluey one just to um, recap in case the first time didn't make any sense I'm just going to get some fresh um, paper I would say get fresh um, grease proof paper for every candle just in case there was something left on it you don't want that going on your Sorry, that sounds must sound awful. Yeah, so another bit of greaseproof paper. So then I've got this napkin. See, now with, with this one, I can um, go all the way around it. So luckily I can show you that. And yet again, I'm going to tear it because having a straight edge on it will show up... Um, it'll show up even more. You would really notice it if it was... Um, you know a straight edge you would really notice it so I would say rip your tissue so I hope this is all making sense I mean you said my last video where I explained something wasn't too bad so so this is quite a big bit oops I need to rip down that side and because this is a full pattern and it's sort of a bit all over the place. I don't need to worry too much about it um, matching up, which is a bonus. Sorry, that's my phone going. I'm just going to take a bit more off the top. 
because also you don't want it overlapping you want to keep it to sort of here and here so hold on so between like my fingers there you really need to um I would suggest that's the best place to keep it because um you don't really want it I mean you can but I've never done that so I'm still a bit too high there so we'll just rip that little bit off and there's a bit down here which is a bit too high but as I'm a bluey blue bluey girl I just had to um do this one and I might um I haven't really got anywhere in here to keep this but this one's probably going to be for myself if I ever get um I want to get some little shelves in here eventually right so let's just lie this down I'm going to stay sat down for this one because um, my legs are aching where I didn't sleep well last night yeah fidget leg thing all blinking night drift me bonkers so, um, yeah this is going to be a bit of a shabby one where there's bits here and there's not but I can um, catch them up so yeah get Grease tape paper, Oops. as tight as you can get it, try not to have any creases in, I know it's easier said than done because I'm having fun and I'm sure that's because I'm on camera and I apologise for the sound of it, so let's just keep my, ca keep my camera up, not keep my camera up at all, keep the heat gun up so um, yeah, as soon as it starts changing colour, I move on to the next bit. So it's just like heating, crossing. Just keep on moving it. So yeah, I might keep this bluey white one for myself, or who knows, it might go into future um, giveaways. I'm not sure yet, because most of my friends now have had my. Um, handmade, <laughs> my hand decorated um, candles. Yeah, there's only so many times you can give your friends the candle or something you've made. At the moment, they're all left slowly ending up with tools I've made <laughs> for um, presents. Turn that off and see how that is done. I know I haven't done that bit there, but I'm going to work into that in a minute. So let's just rub that bit. And then I will turn it round because obviously I haven't got to that bit. But my fingers were just getting a bit too hot. And I want to add a little bit of a flower down there. It's bugging me that it's not got something more to it. So I'm just going to pop that like that, I think. Right, so now I need to melt the bit that I didn't get. Yeah, I will just say it's very hot, so please mind your hands, because I do, I do have to um, mention it, I don't want to, oh god, oh god that's not breakable, whoopsie, sorry for making everybody jump then, <laughs> made myself jump, yeah so I do obviously have to say it is hot, so mind your fingers, I don't want somebody saying to me, oh I did this and I burnt my fingers, but then we are all adults, hopefully watching this, so, um, yeah. I love doing this technique. Um, so I'm always looking out for candles to water. If you do do any, let me um, know, because I'd love to see how you got on. I'm going to take that off and bang oh, sugar, hot wax, hot wax, oh hot wax, yeah, ouch, yeah as I said um, 
I over melted that a bit and um, obviously hot wax. Ow! Ah, that's still on there. So I just need to go back onto there because it's stuck to the beautiful paper for some reason. Not had that happen before. Right. Yeah, so that bit um, I over melted a little bit. So as you can see, it's really wet. So, um, and there's still some bits I need. I can see it's some tissue bits. But yeah, you just can carry on um, tweaking it and stuff. But yeah, do be careful because the wax is very hot, as you saw me um, find out. So yeah, I didn't have um, didn't have the um, grease proof paper fairly flat on that, so I've got some crinkles in it. So I'm just um, rubbing them out. And that's not too bad but yeah there's some bits that I do need to um, just work over I can see like some bits there that um, where the tissue hasn't quite melted but as you can see so yeah if you want to go and watch somebody who can explain it much better and doesn't melt themselves on camera <laughs> go and have a look but yeah that's how I decorate my candles so um Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.